Today's Trader Joe's haul featuring the new items is a little different this week because one, it's on Saturday instead of a Friday, and two, it's a little more interactive as I'm showing the new products. I'm gonna be taste testing them right then and there so you know exactly what we're trying. You just saw the package and you're ready to see it live being tried by myself and Tim and my little boy Benson who's four years old. So if you guys haven't seen a taste test, this is your opportunity to check it out, see if you like it, and if you don't, don't worry. Next week it's going back to normal again. Also make sure that you are subscribed, your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss out on all the new items that come in weekly at Trader Joe's. And last final thought, I'm gonna be showing some of the items that I bought at the very end of this video, just like a small mini haul of everything I bought, including these humongous artichokes, yum. So make sure to watch till the end if you guys wanna see everything I bought this week. Now it's time for this week's new Trader Joe's haul items and the taste test. This is the first item that we're gonna be trying in the taste test. Obviously not tasting it, but spraying it and giving it a good sniff and letting you know how it is. But this is the new lavender hand sanitizer spray that Trader Joe's just came out with. This is only $1.99. Now I'm gonna show you guys the one that they had been selling, which is the Dr. Bronner's Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer. Um, this one's $3.99. So they're the exact same size. The only difference that I'm seeing so far is that this one is not organic, the Trader Joe's one. Um, but I am more curious about how it's gonna smell because I love the Dr. Bronner's one and I'm really curious to see this one, but it's such a great deal. Um, as far as the alcohol content, the Trader Joe's one is 74% and the Dr. Bronner's one is 62%. So you're actually getting a higher concentrated level of the ethyl alcohol. Um, and I don't know if that's because this one's not organic or not, but don't worry because we're gonna try it right now and let you know how it smells. All right, before we start the taste test, we've got to spray our hands with some sanitizer, and let's see how this one compares to the Dr. Bronner's. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it away from our coffee. There we go, there's one. Give me your hands, babe. Just like in the car. Let's give it a smell and feel test. Much more alcohol smelling. Yeah, it has more of the alcohol smell, but it's, it's not like, you know, when you rub your hands on the pure al rubbing alcohol, it's like really strong. It's not anything like that. Yeah. I think it smells really good for the lavender scent. like very reminiscent of the Dr. Bronner's one. Mm -hmm. It just has more of an alcohol like scent to it too. You can smell that strong smell of alcohol. Yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It dries up fast and it doesn't have any yeah. weird residue. So all in all, like I'm totally happy with that sanitizer. I give it a thumbs up. And we'll be purchasing more because $1.99 you really can't beat. So thanks, Trader Joe's. Next up, we have the Rutland Red Leicestershire Cheese. Now, this is the spotlight cheese of the month at Trader Joe's, which just means it's going to be here for the month of March, and then it's gone. So if you want to give this a try, you got to go in and grab it as soon as you can so you don't miss out. But this one is aged 10 months. One of the fun facts about this cheese is that it gets its color from annatto extract, and it also gives it a slight flavor. So one of my coworkers was giving me the whole spiel on this cheese, and I'm really excited to try it so we're gonna give it a go and see how it tastes I've heard really good things about this cheese so I'm so excited to give it a try see how Benson likes it too because Benson you don't like cheese do you I love cheese. <laughs> <laughs> good. all right here we go thumbs up mm-hmm yeah this cheese is so good mm-hmm mm. that's really good that is delicious it's got a great flavor to it. Oh my sure. gosh. That is so good. I'm bummed it's only here for a month. This is Spotlight. Any any notable flavors that you're tasting? Um, Not really. I feel like it could do with a little bit more of like a peppery flavor to it. Um, I feel like that would help it. But other, I mean, all in all, it just has, I don't know how to describe the, the flavor to it, but it's, it's pretty good. I feel like it's like a really rich flavor. It has like a lot of yeah. depth to it. Um, there's a lot of like flavors that you taste on the back end and actually once you swallow the cheese you start to really taste the flavor of it so I think it just it's um it's definitely more of a complex cheese than just a basic cheddar or something like that this has like a lot of stuff going on with it so Benson you liked it good so far so good 
I'm taking a quick break from the haul to share with you guys some awesome news about HelloFresh. If you guys are new to HelloFresh, I highly recommend you give them a try. I've been using them for, I think, over a year now, and they're amazing. I don't particularly love to plan meals every single day, and if you're busy like I am with a family, you're sick of hearing what are we having for dinner every single night and then making the exact same meals every single week because that's what I do. Hi, um, until HelloFresh came along and literally changed my life for the better and my family's eating so much healthier. Not only that, I have gotten more creative with my own recipes and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys recipes in the future literally inspired by HelloFresh. The reason I really love HelloFresh is because of the variety for different diets. So I'm vegetarian and I choose the vegetarian option. They have pescatarian, they have low calorie, low carb, pretty much something for everybody. They also have family size meals or meals for just two people. So you can really pick and choose what you want. Not only that, every single ingredient is pre-portioned, so I'm not wasting a ton of produce, and that's something that I can't stand because I don't like to waste. So HelloFresh cuts out all the waste and the time with the food prep, which is something that I really need because if I'm coming home from work and it's already six o'clock, I need to make something quick. These meals take under 30 minutes to make and sometimes even 10 to 20 if you get the quick, quick and easy options. So there's really something for everybody. And this week, I am so excited because they gave me such good recipes. I love these recipes. First of all, the vegetarian ones, I don't know how every single time they're super flavorful, but there are a lot of great options. If you check the website out, you can see for yourself. But this is the one that I'm making today. This is the Southwest Stuffed Zucchini Boats with Pico de Gallo Avocado Crema and Cilantro. If you guys wanna find out for yourself how amazing HelloFresh is, go to HelloFresh.com, use code HESPY12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. And I will put everything in the description below. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I can't wait to check out the other two recipes I have to try for this week. I have this feeling. And fell for so long Took a hold of me and won't let go I've been sleeping Caught me off my guard Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Hold me towards you and I can't fight it We're done and we're gonna give you guys the official taste test Mmm, amazing Oh my gosh I knew it was gonna be good you cooked that so well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, thanks to HelloFresh once again for sponsoring this portion of the video and thanks for the amazing meals they send us every week. Now to something Tim probably will not try. This is the crispy, crunchy champignon mushroom snack. So I love the packaging. It's so cute and whimsical. And then on the back here, you can see the actual mushrooms. This is basically like a crunchy, I'm imagining like salty snack. It has the champignon white, mushrooms, sunflower oil, sea salt, and corn maltodextrin. One package is 340 calories. You got 26 grams of fat, 240 milligrams sodium, 25 grams carbs, three grams fiber, three grams sugar, and four grams of protein. All right, am I the only one trying these? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. You wanna try them? I will, I will try smelling these. Okay, yeah, you can <laughs> smell them. You wanna try it, babe? No? Okay, I guess I'm the only one. They look like little mushrooms, little minis. You wanna smell? <laughs> mm. You wanna try one? They definitely taste like mushroom. They are crispy. So these are a lot like the dried fruit, like the dried strawberries or dried, um, any kind of type of dried fruit, very similar to that. Benson just mm. tried it, do you like it? Yeah, do. I think it's actually pretty good. It has a really good flavor, if you like mushrooms, and it has a really good crunch, so they're very um, snack worthy. I really think these are awesome. Good job, Benson likes them. You want another one? Wow. You sure you don't want to try? Uh, you don't have to. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I know everybody's like, <laughs> try it, try it. Ah, I just, I don't have it. Oh, got it today, guys. Now to wash down those mushrooms with the brand new coffee that just came in, the Ecuador Pichincha. 
excuse my pronunciation, small lot coffee. This is a medium to dark roast with notes of honey, cacao, and mango. I'm so excited to give this coffee a try. This is in whole beans, and just in case you guys don't know, Trader Joe's has grinders at each and every store, so if you need it ground for you before you leave the store, make sure to ask a crew member and they can do that for you. This guy I actually ground myself and I'm gonna have a fresh cup to enjoy right now. I brewed a pot of the coffee here. So we both, Tim and I, have our coffees ready to taste. Spence is not trying this one. Now, I prepared this just like I normally would our normal coffee. So there is a little creamer in here and a little coconut milk. So we can give it a fair assessment. If we just drink it black, I'm guaranteeing both of us would be like yeah. too much for us. So we're gonna try it as is, how we normally enjoy. Cheers. Okay. That's smooth. It's So we've been having kind of like flavored coffees. This one has a very straight, medium dark roast flavor. Um, yeah. Very bold, very uh, strong bodied coffee here. Do you like it? I like it, yeah, it is good. I, I think it's really good. I am not a dark coffee fan. I like more, I'm all about the light to medium roast because it has more caffeine. But honestly, I like the taste too. This one, you definitely can taste that dark roast creeping in, but it's not so dark where it's like, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Um, it's really good balance between medium to dark. It is very smooth and I do taste like a hint of, what does it say? It says honey, cacao, and mango. I feel like maybe the mango is coming out for me. Um, I guess more of the fruity flavor is what I'm getting at. So I yeah. I think it's a really good, really good um, quality coffee. And if you guys like medium to dark, this might be like your perfect new coffee that you'll want to switch to. So all said and done, good thumbs up, good job. Yeah, I miss those notes of mango and whatever the other other things you said Honey were. And cacao. <laughs> yeah, but um, straight <laughs> coffee flavor for me. But it was it was pretty good. What goes better with coffee than chocolate? Um, this is the chocolate bar I actually showed yesterday in the what's in the checkout lines Trader Joe's haul. And so this one is the organic 92% dark chocolate, single origin heirloom cocoa beans from Madagascar. This is dairy free. And we're gonna give this a try and see if it is as good as its sister who we tried last week that had sea salt and I think it was cacao nibs in it, um, which I really liked. So I have high hopes for this one. Here's the back for the nutrition facts in case you guys were curious. A third of a bar is 160 calories and then there are the ingredients for you as well. So since we just had our coffee, let's go ahead and try the new chocolate bar. Okay. All right, so this is a higher percentage of cacao, so I'm expecting this to be a little bit more bitter. Mm-hmm, I don't know what it is. It's cocoa bean. You like it? Mm. Mm. Oh, it is bitter it though. It's really bitter. You like that? Oh. Benson likes it. It's too bitter for me. It's 92%. It's, no, nah, it's, I mean, it has like a. It doesn't even taste like chocolate. It has a strange, almost, um, Sour. Like sour. I was yeah. gonna say sour. It's almost like sour. It is. Some of you guys out there that like this dark chocolate are going to love this chocolate. It is so, so dark. Um, for Tim and I, we both don't have those taste buds. Like our taste buds just, we're not bitter people. <laughs> bitter people. We don't like bitter <laughs> things. So it makes uh, tasting these types of things kind of just, it just tastes bitter to us. So don't come at me for not liking this chocolate because it's my taste buds, okay? Blame my tongue. And then last but not least, and what I'm most excited to try because I've heard rave reviews about this one, is the cold brew coffee and boba coconut non-dairy frozen dessert with tapioca pearls. I mean, come on. Dang it, Trader Joe's. They keep coming out with these amazing products. This one is vegan, and I've heard people that are not vegan absolutely love this ice cream. We're gonna see for ourselves, but let's check out the nutrition facts before we dig in. So there you guys have it. Two thirds a cup is 230 calories. And here's the ingredient list for you as well. Now we finally get to try the boba ice cream. I'm so excited. Boba ice cream, huh? Yeah. What flavor is this? It's cold brew coffee. Cold brew coffee, oh man. Okay, should we even give this to our child? <laughs> Here, take this one because I think it has a little boba in it. Did you see the, the boba balls or whatever they are? I haven't are? seen any yet. I'm gonna try. I might have to take a couple scoops to find some. Oh yeah, it's probably just do that just to be safe. 
I found one. There it is. Oh my gosh, this is heavenly. Heavenly. Tim's that all about. Squishy. <laughs> you got a squishy ball? Did you like it? I gotta get a squishy ball yeah. in here. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Did I get one? Or oh, you got one? I got one. I mean, you like it? I feel like it's really strong coffee flavor. Oh, I love it. This is delicious. Um, I mean, I coffee do. on coffee on coffee all day, every day, baby. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna try the boba. I I'm love still, coffee. <laughs> I'm not sold on these on this size cream yet, but I'm gonna try the boba. I'm. You know what? Give me it then. <laughs> oh, this is my lunch. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is non dairy. Yeah. It is it's so my good. Non favorite as well. <laughs> <laughs> Only because it's coffee, or are you just all uh, around? No, I mean I like I like, I enjoy coffee, but this one's just it uh it's got just like a, a bitter coffee flavor to it. Not for me, but it's not bad. I like the boba, like I like the consistency of the boba. That was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, uh, the chewiness of the little boba balls are really good. Um yeah, I don't know. It's it's a it's a definite ten out of ten for me, but Oh good. If you guys are not coffee <laughs> lovers apparently, uh don't go for this. You you can't claim to be a coffee lover. I'm not. I like coffee. Yeah. Not don't don't say. He's I not like me that. where I dream about it like right before I wake up from <laughs> sleep at night. Now, as promised, I'm gonna show you a little mini haul on all the things I purchased this week for my family. So I grabbed some teeny tiny avocados because they went up in price, and these are still sticking around at two ninety nine. So I grabbed these. the The artichokes, like I showed you in the intro, these things are so big and I'm so excited. I've heard they're amazing this year and I could not pass them up. These are called op buys, which are opportunity buys. We only get them in like once a week, maybe twice a week. So if you see them at your Trader Joe's, don't pass them up. They're not around all the time. Otherwise we have um, the other artichokes that come in the four pack, but they're teeny tiny, like maybe that big. They're not kidding, like super mini. Um, these ones are called the Globe Artichokes, by the way, as well. So I grabbed two, one for myself and one for Tim. I also got some tortillas. So I've been buying my tortillas at Costco, but we ran out. We had these this morning and they're super soft and fluffy and it just reminds me how good the flame cooked flour tortillas are. Um, so yeah, picked those up, got our normal sourdough sandwich bread that we get every single week grabbed some Brussels sprouts and I showed on my Instagram how I prepared these. I added the, um, what was it? The Cuban citrus garlic seasoning. Oh my gosh, you guys air fried them in my air fryer at 400 for 15 minutes. They came out crispy and to die for. Tim and I devoured the entire bag of these just for lunch. They were like the best flavor. So I'm making that again. I also grabbed some frozen broccoli florets, which I grab every single week. Um, same with the organic rainbow cauliflower and the green vegetable foursome. I haven't bought this in a while, but it looked really good and I've been incorporating a ton of veggies into my meals again. I'm getting back on track. So yeah, just tons of veggies to have on hand in the freezer are really good for me. Um, I also grabbed some organic jasmine rice. So my store specifically has been only getting a case a day. So I grabbed one when I saw it. I don't know about your store, but my store is getting limits on a lot of different frozen items. So if you're seeing stuff missing when you go into your store, ask your Trader Joe's crew member when they get their shipment in. At my store, Frozen comes in at night, so your best bet is to go early in the morning and grab everything you need if you're missing, finding things missing. Now, if your store gets frozen in the morning, you're still gonna be good on going early enough to get everything you need because it's all stocked before the store opens at eight o'clock. Moving on to some asparagus. Just grab this because I love asparagus. It's amazing. Also grab the everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. I grabbed this last week or two weeks ago and it's devoured, gone. I love this on baked potatoes, so I got another one. Also grabbed some more organic tomatoes for my salads that I make. This is something I wanted to share with you guys. This is the last item I purchased and this is the Smart Tenders. So as you guys can see, this is the old package. This is the Smart Tenders. It has 14 grams of protein. This is the new packaging and it has 18 grams of protein. So I'm really curious to see if they're gonna taste different. I'm assuming they're gonna be slightly different and you can even tell in the little window here that they look different. Very slightly, like these look a little, I don't know, like lighter in color. Um, also the calories are different too. So 80 calories for three in this one, 
and 150 for three in this one. So calories going up significantly and that is probably because of the protein added. I'm really curious to see how these are gonna taste. I think I'm gonna shoot another what I eat in a day video and I'll try out the new ones for you and let you know. So if you're curious to see if these are any different, check out my video going out probably sometime next week of a what I eat in a day. So that is it for this little mini haul. That concludes this week's Trader Joe's new items haul taste test and the little mini haul I just showed you guys. I hope you enjoyed all of this today and make sure to give it a thumbs up if you really like seeing this type of video. We can do this again. And if you don't like it, don't worry. Next week is going back to normal and everything will be just how it always is. But I am going to be changing up in the future and doing more fun, unique, creative ideas. So please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss out on a Trader Joe's haul from me weekly, Fridays and Saturdays. Have a good one, you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.